What is up everybody, Collector Joe here today giving you guys an unboxing of this R2-D2 from Sideshow. This is a six scale. It is kind of competing with the Hot Toys one. Of course, the Hot Toys one is better, but this will do for now. I, I'm getting it for the Mandalorian Luke Skywalker, so when it comes in, I'll already have this. I already have a CFL lightsaber, so this is going to look great with him. So I'm here to show you guys what this one looks like compared to the Hot Toys one. Even though I don't have the Hot Toys one, maybe you see another video that you can compare this one to and see which one works for you. Of course, you do see the elf right here. So I did get this guy for Christmas from my girlfriend. Thank you so much for this. And I can't wait to get this thing open. And of course, in the front, we do have R2-D2. Under him, we do have the Star Wars logo. And we have his name right here. We also have the Sideshow logo saying that this is six scale. All right, now let me show you all the different sides. So this bottom, we have the Star Wars logo. On this side, another Star Wars logo and a Disney logo. Also, just a plain side on here, no Disney logo. And this is the back. You also do get a picture of R2-D2 right here. All the whodunits. You got Sideshow, a barcode, and another Star Wars logo. All right, let's get this thing open by taking the top off of it. I believe these are still in stock at Sideshow. So first, we are greeted with a picture of R2-D2. It's a beautiful picture. I love that one. You do say, it just say deluxe and the uh, six scale figure, of course, like it did on the front. When you do take off the artwork right here, you are greeted with the figure itself and some instructions. Okay, guys, so here's everything you do get in the box. I'm going to take everything out and show you guys what it comes with. Okay, so here's everything you do get with the figure itself. We do get these probes that do come out and he uses these to, you know, finish everyday tasks as he usually does there we go right there can't really get them up close there we go they look cool just little just little probes and then next we do have the drink dispenser that goes on top of his head this is very very detailed i like it a lot this is going to look cool but i'm not going to display him with this but it's a nice option to have if you want to recreate the scene all right and here is the drink kind of holder that you can put around him it holds each one of the drinks that we have right here here is what one of those look like right here up close they all pretty much look the same they look cool i like i like this you can use this with another figure as well um but yeah that holds all of them and you can peg them each in right there and this holds the uh, onto the r2d2 on the sides and it holds that drink holder then we do get an Obi-Wan lightsaber. It looks really nice. I like it. It's detailed pretty good for, uh, for Sideshow. You know, it's nothing compared to Hot Toys, but this looks great. And with the Obi-Wan lightsaber, we have this kind of bar refill station. I don't know what you want to call it, but we have this thing in the center right here, and it takes this out, which we can put the Princess Leia hologram in right here. So you have it like that. That looks really nice. I like that a lot. And so you get a close up view of the Princess Leia hologram. It is very detailed, even though it is so small. I like it a lot. And then this little piece right here goes onto the figure itself like that. I don't know what it does. It's some kind of restrainer, I thought. Um, but it does look cool whenever you put it on there. Just another thing you have to add on to him. Maybe you could put it on there just so you don't lose it. Or just put it in the box if you don't like the look. Here is the figure itself right here. It looks really good and really detailed. Um, there is a few parts that are like they come off, you know, if I have it tilted this way. But the detail on this thing is really good, especially towards the bottom. We do have some dirt and grime right here, of course, where it would be at. But on the top, it's fairly clean. You got a few nicks and everything like that. But I think this guy is going to look great next to Luke. I'm just using it for like the Mandalorian scene. So you don't really need much with it or any of the parts. But that's all it's going to serve its purpose for. And we do have this at the bottom that you can uh, make it look like he is actually rolling itself and have this back and you know have it how his natural stance is like that whenever he's ro um, like driving by and the bottom wheels do actually turn so you can actually make him roll now what's cool about this is that with this lightsaber you know you, it would it would kind of be hard to get in these and open them if you wanted to so you, you gotta kind of gotta get your nail in there but with this lightsaber you do have a magnet at the end 
that can open these things up, which is really cool. And after I figured that out, you have a lot more uh, compartments in here that you wouldn't really know that were there without this thing, you know, without being able to open it. You see, we got that. Uh, we got this right here. This is pretty cool. Um, this opens up as well. I think that's awesome. So we can close all that. I think with these on the sides, sorry, this one's a little um, bent a little bit. So with these, I can't get it over. There we go. You can have this come out right here. If I can see through the camera. You can have this come out and go up and down like this, and it can hold some of these accessory pieces that it came with. Yeah, boom, and you can have it attached and everything like that. I think also as well, we had some um, right here that you could plug in an accessory as well. I think that looks cool. I'm not gonna be using these accessories, but it's something you can do, and if you wanna do that, now you have the option to. So now on top of the dome, we do have a few things. So this one right here, you can open up and put the lightsaber inside, which is really cool. You put it in this hole right here. It can go in there and just flings back together. You also have kind of his radar. He does have right here. There you go. Like that. That's his radar that we usually see in the movies. Um, let's see if I can get it back down. Oh, wait. There we go. All right. So now you get it back down like that. There it is. And you do have this, I don't know what this is actually. And then kind of like, I guess this is a scope or something like that. I forgot what this was, but it's been a while since I've seen the movies, but that is really cool. And then it just, you see, doop, oh, wait, boom, there you go, easy. And then last but not least, we do have the dome lighting. So what you do is you kind of find the sweet spot. There we go. You kind of press in right here and we can turn it on i think it's already on but for some reason the tap to turn on isn't working on mine so we're going to just do it this way um put it back on there's like a there's like a right way to put it on there we go and it came back on there is the lighting the lighting looks great you have this one as well i don't know if you can see that there we go now you can see it and this one also works on the back as well i think mine's kind of running out of battery so it keeps turning itself off and there we go guys that was the review of this thing i like it a lot it is all plastic it is about 160 on sideshow but for what i'm doing on in my display and things like that with the mandalorian perfectly i'm just gonna have him sitting there with uh luke skywalker holding um uh, grogu so that's gonna look awesome tell me what y'all are doing in the comment section below also while you're down there make sure you hit that like and subscribe button and i will see y'all on the next video it's been collector joey peace